Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I have another product review video where I basically sit at my vanity and I somewhat randomly pick things off and I tell you what I think about it. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is I have this Mana Kadar um, body scrub, the champagne body scrub that came in the um, FabFitFun winter box and everyone got it in that box. I opened it, I said that the first thing it made me think of when I smelled it was pink lemonade. And I can I can kind of stick to that, maybe like pink grapefruit or something. Um, so it's an okay smell, it's a somewhat, it's okay. So far, I think this is like okay. I would never ever purchase it, not even at a drugstore price. Um, what it, it, what confuses me is in the ingredients list, Unless I'm seriously missing something, I don't see charcoal in it, which really, really makes me laugh. Um, so it has sodium chloride, so it's a salt scrub, aqua glycerin. So it has something in it called cocomidopropyl betaine, which I just looked up, and that is... Okay, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to get this right. Hopefully I remember it right. It's a kind of like a coconut oil, but it's got, it's mixed with something else that seems like it's lab created. It's dimethyl amino. It seems like it's a protein. Anyway, what it is, is it's a surfactant and a lot of, um, which is a, a surfactant, <laughs> what I learned is that that's something that reduces tension between two liquids. It reduces surface tension, so I think it might help things blend, or um, I saw some other things where it said it helps it foam. I, it helps it not act, it helps coconut oil not act like coconut oil. Um, and the, I saw a bunch of warnings come up about that ingredient, but they were all that they could be a potential skin irritant. Uh, nothing like it was terribly, terribly toxic to your system or anything like that. So look out if you have sensitive skin. Um, for that one, Parfum, which most of us know about fragrance, we, um, uh, most of us know about fragrance. It, they, you know, you can say, they can say fragrance or perfume and it, it shroud a bunch of other ingredients. We don't know what it is. They don't have to tell us. Xanthan gum, which is in so many things. And then DMDM hydantoin, uh, which I just looked up and that is a formaldehyde releaser, which, um, that can be pretty toxic. Formaldehyde has been banned from, for you, from use in beauty products and, and whatnot as a preservative, but they can be also another, just like fragrance, um, formaldehyde releasers are other ingredients, but then once activated, they release the formaldehyde that is in it for whatever reason they want to put formaldehyde in. So if you care about ingredients, and then the last ingredient is a dye. It's a CL77266, which I guess is what it gives it this black color. To, to make it seem like there's charcoal in this. Anyway, I've talked a lot about this. Not a fan, I will probably use it up. I um, But no, I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm, I have yet to be convinced that I wanna be a Monica Dar customer. I haven't been terribly intrigued by the things I've seen available from them. Okay, so moving on, this is an, an empty. This is a grown alchemist. Oh, I squeezed the ever living daylights out of it. It's a gel mask. <laughs> um, it's a gel mask. You can see I can no longer see the um, what it is. It's a hydro repair gel mask, and it has oh oh here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Pomegranate extract <laughs> and peptide complex. I. You might be able to kind of see it, but that's what it is. Um, it's an excellent ma mask. I really, really like it. Grown Al Alchemist. If you don't know, it's an Australian co company. Very botanical. Doesn't use anything questionable in their products so far that I have seen. And this is a like a cooling gel mask. It leaves like a nice subtle tingle when you first put it on and then you take it off and your skin feels nice and soft. I really, really enjoyed using this and I used it at, I got it in one of the fall sales and that bit fun. So I really like that. If it came around again, I have so many masks right now that I would probably skip it over. If I didn't have a ton of masks though, I would be into getting this. I probably paid $9 for it and Grown Alchemist is expensive, so this is probably like 
30 or 40 dollars I'm not sure but it's it's pretty pricey their stuff anyway so that one's that one this I've been I have been meaning to tell you guys about this and I just kept on forgetting this is the aloe up for the face daily facial moisturizer with sunscreen I got this um, in the fall FabFitFun edit sale and it was five dollars this I'm still learning about ingredients in sunscreen as far as I can tell this has some of the best um, ingredients that you can get in sunscreen I'm trying to show you it's very very small let's see I'll read it to you and if you know about uh, ingredients in sunscreen uh, leave a comment and below let me know if I'm right or wrong and it has homo salate octosalate avobenzone octocrylene and so it says that it has it really oh biodegradable reef friendly and it has really excellent ingredients as, as excellent as sunscreens can have and this is really nice as a moisturizer as well. It goes on really smoothly. It absorbs well. I really, really like this. I will buy this. There's something gross on the side of it. Um, I will buy this again. Um, I'm almost out. I'm so bummed and I'm finding it on eBay. But um, it's $30, so it's not terribly expensive. It's $29.99. And I haven't seen in the FabFitFun sales another... Um, moisturizer with SPF that I was interested in trying so um, I'm gonna scoot you guys back just a little bit so I am uh, I'm I'm a fan I am a fan aloe up I recommend it for the face and is a more a moisturizer for the morning I recommend this highly um, okay so I said I would come back to this this is the sorry guys okay so this is the R and Co scalp scrub I haven't been able to become a fan of scalp scrubs. I think I think they're kind of a gimmick. I am so happy for you if you disagree and they work for you. Shoot, I will mail, <laughs> maybe I'll put this in a, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I feel like when I use it, okay. I'll tell you what's good about it first. I think it has a nice smell. It smells like toasted brown sugar, this one. It's um, R & Co. Crown Scalp Scrub. And it smells like toasted brown sugar, I would say. It has uh, like a very thick honey-like consistency. And that's about all that's good about it. So when I use scalp scrubs, I just feel like it must be so damaging to my hair. I, I can't imagine it's good for my hair at all. You're, you're rubbing such an abrasive thing on your delicate strands of hair and it's just awkward and uncomfortable and it, it it's kind of tough to get all the little granules out. I'm not into scalp scrubs. I'm This was $9 wasted. I think it was $9. It might have been $14. Um, yeah, not a fan of scalp scrubs. Um, yeah, like I said though, if you like them, I'm, I'm <laughs> good for you I just can't I can't imagine them being good for our hair um, so I'm gonna talk about a couple of Moroccan gold series items I finished this up this is their um, leave-in mask I got this in I think the winter edit sale um, and it was nice it was a nice leave-in mask I don't I would not buy it again I would not buy it again on sale I'm I've used it it's nice to have known it kind of thing. What I didn't like about it so much was it has a smell that I don't prefer and it smells a lot like this if you've used this which is their hair mask that came everyone got it in the winter box um, and I'll talk about that too. Uh, so it smells a lot like that and um, the I don't I don't really like the smell. I can see a lot of people really liking it. I can see me being alone in that. Um, it's just it's just a little too fragrant, a little too artificial, chemically smelling for me. Uh, and it is um, so what else didn't I like about it? This the way it sprayed, it had a very, very wide spray. So like even if I was holding it out here, I would lose a lot of product and it would get just kind of everywhere, fall to the floor and make it <laughs> my floor real slippery. And um, yeah, so it had a really wide spray. As a leave-in, uh, the way it functioned, I thought it functioned like a decent leave-in mask, leave-in spray. Um, 
So, but I would not get it again. I, I didn't regret buying it because I was able to use it all up, but I wouldn't get it again. Okay, on to the mask. I think that this is a nice mask. It has that very similar smell. Let me show you the front in case you're not sure what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of my stuff is that that fun centered. So this is the Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask. And it's in Fat Fit Fun. It came in everybody's box in winter. And um, it has that same smell. Not a fan. I Like I said, I can see a lot of people actually really liking it. It's just a little too perfumey for me. Um, and uh, yeah, otherwise, it is a decent hair mask. It does not uh, compare at all to the Living Proof Restore mask that I talked about and raved about. I will link a video where I talked about that above me here. Uh, that mask was excellent. I so far have not used a max mask that was that good. It was really good. I noticed significant hydration <laughs> in my hair after I used it every time. Um, and, and yeah, so it's an okay hair mask. Don't like the smell so much. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't have much else to say about this brand. They're cruelty free. I try to buy cruelty free. There's some cruelty free confusion going on. And I just want to address that a little bit. When it comes to testing on animals, um, People say, oh, they're, they're actually cruelty free, they just sell in China and China makes them test on animals. That's not being cruelty free. So if, they, if a company chooses to sell in China, they are not cruelty free, their products are tested on animals and they are choosing to sell in China so that they can profit off of the Chinese market, which is huge, that's a lot of money. And so that company is not cruelty free, they are testing on animals or the Chinese government is using, is testing their products on animals. So they're not cruelty free. It's okay if you don't want, if you don't, not, not care, right? but if you, if you feel differently, but that company is not cruelty free. So um, I've seen some confusion there and I just, hope to help clear that up a little bit. And it's a choice to make. It's so hard to be cruelty free. I, the more I learn about it, the more depressing it gets. I thought I had made the transition to cruelty free simply because I started buying, you know, hair care and makeup products from companies that don't sell in China and have leap, leaping bunny certificates. And then I find out that, you know, all of my the household products, Lysol, Johnson & Johnson, the, it, it, it's like finding out that there's been a crime committed and then you investigate more and more and more and then, oh my gosh, it's the President of the United States who's involved and you're totally powerless <laughs> over it and you're never going to get anywhere. You know those kinds of movies where that happens? Anyway, so... Yes, so if a company chooses to sell in China, they are not cruelty free, they are, they are participating in animal testing and they are profiting off of their products being tested on animals. So Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, their products are tested on animals. So if I've said in videos that Dr. Brandt tests on animals, they themselves don't, but they let the Chinese government test their products on animals so that they can profit off of that, that market. Okay. Moving on, <laughs> um, again, if you, it's, it's a beast to go cruelty free and it's expensive. You have to always, you have to always shop at Whole Foods if you want to be able to make sure that you're always cruelty free. Ugh. So Jessica Alba, she started The Honest Company and that is a really good company. She did it when she had children. She started learning all of this stuff and so she decided, I'm gonna quit acting. Well, I don't know if it's linked, but she doesn't act so much anymore. And she opened up this company called The Honest Company and she makes, they make household products, cosmetics, uh, baby care stuff, all kinds of stuff. So you could just solely buy from The Honest Company and you'd be set, you'd be cruelty free. <laughs> anyway, but then that's kind of no fun, right? Okay, so that's the Moroccan Gold <laughs> Series stuff. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. This is um, a, a sleeping facial mask. It came in everybody's winter box, and I really, really like this. Ahava is an Israeli Israeli company. They are also cruelty-free. Um, 
It smells uh, very subtle. And it smells like, I don't know, like a, a subtle fresh scent. And it, it feels quite nice. I have dry skin and it is uh, very thick. But what's nice about it is you don't feel like it's going to transfer on your pillow. You put on a, a thin layer and you can go to bed. And my skin feels so so soft in the morning after I use this. I really like it. I think it's really, really nice and luxurious. I would recommend this. I wouldn't buy it again right away, maybe down the line if I ever felt like I needed a sleeping mask. I would pursue this one and buy it. Okay, so the next one I am going to talk about, and the last one probably this video is getting a little bit long, is this. It's another Go and Alchemist product. I just got this one in the last sale, um, which is the spring add-on sale. And it's their Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser. Gerani the Geranium Leaf Bergamot Rosebud. I had high hopes for this. I don't like it so much. I was really excited about the merging of bergamot and rosebud, you know, floral and bergamot but it didn't turn out as nicely as I thought. It's kind of harsh. Um, it does definitely smells like rosebuds, but, but then the bergamot comes in strong as well. It's like you smell it, it's like rose, and then it's you hit with this bergamot, and I don't like it. I, don't, I, I like it enough that I can use it. And um, on top of that, I have dry skin I mentioned. It's also a little bit too drying, I think, for my face. I have to put on some extra moisturizer after I use this. I will use it up. Uh, it isn't so... I don't, I don't dislike it so much that I won't use it up. But I won't buy this again. I, I was kind of bummed. I thought maybe I found my new favorite cleanser. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to leave this. Um, video here and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, week, and uh, whatever and I will see you again later. Bye!